you win tomorrow today. I know you've heard that many times on this channel, but it's something that I truly live by. I've been working out between 4 and 5 a.m. for many years now, so in this video, I'm going to go over my strategy for staying consistent, productive, and motivated for early morning workouts. The most important factor for making this a reality is preparing the night before. Ironically, I think it's also the step that's most often overlooked. It's the exact same premise as to why my Mondays actually start on Sunday night. If you want to implement early morning workouts, you'll need to be especially cognizant of what foods you're putting in your body the night before. I'm a big fan of keeping things simple with quality, natural sources of protein, carbs, and fats. Our diet consists of mostly chicken, steak, salmon, potatoes, vegetables, and similar foods that you'd expect as part of a healthy meal plan. It's not just the macronutrient breakdown that I'm concerned with. I want to ensure the ingredients that I'm putting in my body are going to give me the energy and endurance I need for the next morning. Nothing is going to kill your workouts faster than feeling depleted or malnourished. Once I'm done with work for the evening, I'll start to put together my intra and pre-workout drinks so they're ready to just grab and go for the morning. It may seem minor, but having these mundane tasks done not only saves time, but it also reduces the margin for air. In my water jug, I add three scoops of pea science sour green apple aminos. Not only do they taste great and help me drink more water, but I like to use them as an insurance policy, making sure that I'm getting adequate doses of BCAAs, given that I train in a semi-fasted state. I also mix up my pre-workout concoction that consists of pea science creatine, one to two scoops of prolific, and two scoops of high volume. The prolific has caffeine to help with my energy levels that I desperately need in the morning, and the high volume will help me with those pumps that are much harder to achieve during my early morning sessions. I found this to be the perfect combination of ingredients to give me the best possible workouts. I now have the luxury of working out at home, but prior to having my home gym, I'd also make sure that my car was packed with my work clothes, my work bag was packed up, so all that I had to do in the morning was simply get in the car and drive off. Preparing the night before will make early morning workouts much more manageable, but also sustainable. Now, this is the part you're not necessarily going to want to hear, and that is sleep is important. Very very, very important, and I learned that the hard way. This is really a non-negotiable. I will not waver from getting at least seven hours of sleep before a morning workout. Ideally, it would be closer to eight hours, but given that I wake up at 4 a.m., it becomes very difficult to do. I know that I need to be asleep by nine, which means having the discipline to go up to bed around eight o'clock. This gives me an hour to tell Alfie how good of a boy he is, show Megan random memes from Instagram, and get caught up on news from the day. While going to bed never sounds fun at the time, I can tell you you'll be very glad that you did when your alarm goes off a few hours before you'd like it to. This is where you train your brain to never, and I mean never, hit that snooze button. Your alarm goes off, you just stand up. It's like Pavlov ring the bell. It's just classical conditioning. One of the most important things you can do immediately after waking up is to start hydrating. Drink at least 12 ounces of water immediately and consider eating something light if you can stomach it. I used to train completely fasted, but I've made an attempt to at least get a banana or some sort of fast acting carb before I start training. Ideally, you get a full meal at least an hour before, but I know a lot of us, we can't always do what's optimal and we have to make do with our own personal circumstances. I do like to give myself at least 30 minutes to wake up, drink the pre-workout I made the night before, check some emails, and really just mentally prepare myself for the workout. Once I've taken the time to gather myself, then I will head out to the garage and start my warm-ups. This is a combination of the echo bike, some dynamic stretching, and some band work. Warming up is always an important part of my workouts, but even more so in the mornings. Your body has been stiff basically in one position for the last seven hours, and it is going to need a little extra time to loosen up the muscles. For me, I'll spend from 4.30 to 5 a.m. warming up before I actually get into my first first working set, I've learned the hard way that rushing into your workouts is only going to lead to injury and any time you think you're saving will be spent back in physical therapy. Now, even with a high level of preparation, I'd be lying if I said these workouts are easy to get through. There's a reason most people are still in bed at the time you're out there trying to get better. 
it becomes more of a mental game than anything else. You'll have to push past the feeling of exhaustion and understand that your mind is going to want to stop long before your body does. This is why I write down my workouts and make sure that I'm progressing from week to week. That way I have objective measures on the days that I'm feeling a little bit more run down. I always try to remind myself of the reason that I'm there and even though it may not feel good at the time, the results will be worth it. For most of us that are working out in the morning, we're usually up against the clock and we have a finite amount of time to get it in. So the challenge will be staying focused while really keeping up the intensity. They say that showing up is half the battle, but I kind of disagree with that. If you just walk into the gym and start lollygagging along, it's not going to do much for your mind or your body. The more you can stay off your phone, keep your heart rate up, and stick to your plan, the better. Let the end goal lead your actions and not your emotions. For anyone waking up early to work out, it's usually not my choice. Typically, it's because it's the only time slot throughout the day that you have to do something for yourself. Like for me, I'm motivated to get up and get it done so that I can be present for Alfie's walk before I have to go out to work. And of course, it doesn't hurt to feel extremely accomplished getting your workout done before 6 a.m. It's just really a great feeling. It's also very important to recover after your workout, which is why I'm so thankful that Built Bars has been nice enough to sponsor this video. These are some of the best tasting protein bars you'll ever try, and they're only around 130 calories each. They're great for post-workout or anytime you're looking to get some extra protein in your diet. Best of all, you can head over to the website link below and use Travis15 to save 15% off your order. I highly recommend the new cookie dough flavor or variety pack so you can try all the awesome bars, I can assure you that you will love them just as much as I do. And that is going to be the end of the video. I can assure you if you follow these steps and you build this into your schedule using these methods, you will one, be able to sustain this lifestyle, but also find a way to have a good workout so you're either being able to gain muscle, lose weight, or whatever it is that your goals may be. Let me know if you guys have any advice in the comments down below, and also let me know what you thought of this video. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.